Okay, so one of the main things that I had to do for this is to make sure that GarageBand is powered. So that's what this cord here does. It splits it and then the one cord goes to the power down here and then the other cord, USB, goes to the USB splitter. And so what this does now is I can plug this in and it will power the iPhone and will power the devices because it's a powered USB and that way I can run several different things at once. So we've got for this setup, we've got the iRig Pro, which has a MIDI cord coming out of it which you can plug into your MIDI keyboard. And then if you look here, it's got the mono jack, I think that's called, but it'll also take a microphone. And then you can turn on the 48 volt if you have a, just a regular microphone. And that's plugged into the guitar or electrical instrument. So you can record acoustic guitar or electric guitar or electric bass onto GarageBand or any, any instrument that uses that type of connection. And then I've got the Apogee Jam, which is also connected with USB. And it as well can record any instrument. And in there I have this cord hooked up to that cord. And then I can plug this into any CD player, cassette player that has that and record samples from those, those things. Okay. And then we've also got on the back here, a condenser mic. That's just the Apogee mic. It's, we use that as well. And that gives you clean quality microphone sound. And then from the iRig Pro, we've got your headset and that allows us to monitor while we're playing. So I've had a similar recording set up for quite a few years. One of the main differences now is that I've got a powered USB hub and I've also got a splitter so I can power my iPhone. The old MIDI device that I was using previously was called the MIDI Mobilizer 2. That is no longer capable or usable on the iPhone 11, so I've replaced that with the iRig Pro. And with these three uh, devices, I can pretty much do most of the recording needs that I want to do and get pretty high quality. All right, now we're using the Apogee mic and we've got this recording inside of iMovie. So I'm gonna open up GarageBand and start a new audio recording. Click on the audio recorder and then I'll turn the monitoring on. And when the monitoring's, monitoring's on, you'll hear me. This is the Apogee mic recording on GarageBand. We have the setting to lead vocals, and now I'm going to change it. This is the Apogee mic now recording with Robot. So now I'm on the clean setting, and as you can see, the GarageBand, you can alter your microphone several different ways. I'm not going to go into all of those, but it's pretty amazing what you are capable of doing with an iPhone and a condenser mic. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the things that we can do with our MIDI controller. All right, so if you notice the buttons are being pressed in the video, I'm actually playing this on the keyboard on GarageBand. And then after this is done, I'll play it on my keyboard.
but we'll record it digitally on GarageBand. So now I'm playing on my Radio Shack keyboard and recording on GarageBand. Okay, so here's the recording being played back on GarageBand. So recording with MIDI is really cool. You can actually change the keyboard that you're using just by switching it on GarageBand. Or you can actually go into the file itself and if you've made any mistakes, you can alter the music as well. So one of the things that I use editing for quite a bit, I did on this song here, we were kind of able to play the notes for the keyboard, but when they didn't turn out, I was able to edit them to make the song actually sound right. Diamonds, diamonds, making diamonds out of dust. So this was originally played on the keyboard and then recorded it into GarageBand and then we basically just went into the file and altered the notes to make it sound proper and that's one of the cool things you can do with GarageBand and a MIDI controller. And finally I'm going to show you how you can take samples from just about anything. We're going to take the twinkle from uh, an older iPhone. Here's what it sounds like just recording it. So we basically plug the iPhone into the Apogee Jam with the headphone jack. And then we turn the record button on. Now we're playing back the recording. Go into the settings. You can see we recorded it on Dreamy. Add another microphone and then we're going to change that microphone over to clear or any other setting that you want and then we're going to drag and drop our recording and bring it over to a clear recording and then play it again there's the difference between clear and dreamy now what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll change it over to something else just to show you that you can change any type of recording once you've recorded it and we'll put it over to robot. So it's pretty versatile what you can do with uh, any type of sample that you get from anywhere. It can be an old cassette, it could be a CD, it could be anything. So this obviously isn't the best portable setup out there, but it's just the one that I've been using for quite a while. Hopefully, if you have any of these devices, you've learned something. And if you've got any questions, hit, uh, hit me up in the comments section. And like always, hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, have a great day.